What is up guys, Millennium Legends here, and today we are going to open up a 2021 10 of Ancient Battles here for you guys today. Also, I'll have a link for this product in the description below if you guys wanna pick one up. Pretty good value on it, so I would recommend grabbing one while you still can before it possibly shoots up in value. On the last opening, if you guys didn't see it, we opened up a 2020 Mega 10, which was pretty fun. That was, this is a $60 tin, uh, $60, $65. So go ahead and check out that opening, see what we pulled and come back and check out this video or vice versa. You guys can do either or, but kind of comparing the two, a $65 tin versus a $16 tin. And we are opening these up because we got brand new news of Konami's 2022 tin of the Pharaoh's gods. So if you guys didn't, watch the 2020 tin that we opened up. The next tin, the 2022, is gonna complete the tablet. So I think it went this, that, and then what is going to be Slifer, Obelisk, and Ra at the top to cement the tablet art, which is gonna be absolutely epic. And they're gonna introduce new artwork for Blue Eyes White Dragon, Red Eyes Black Dragon, and Dark Magician Girl, and then seven new cards as well as all-time greats, including cards like Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit, Ash Blossom, Joyous Spring, Lightning Storm, Nibiru, Forbidden Droplet, Red Eyes Dark Dragoon, which is in this mega tin that we just opened up. Check out that video, guys. And then along with all the tins of recent, you're going to get a Prismatic Secret, two Ultras per pack, two Supers per pack, one Rare, 12 Commons, and the Extra Large Mega Pack. So pretty pumped about that. We have a couple cards we're chasing after today in this tin. So Cross Out Designator, Triple Tactics Talent. I think those have been the one and the two that have been the most valuable out of this tin since it was released. Kind of interesting to see the prices go up on some of the other tins. This one's still hanging around $16, guys, 15, 16 bucks. So if you can get this tin for that price, if you can pull a triple tactics, man, it's like a $25 card. If you can pull cross out designator, it's hovering around $48, 50 bucks. So that's crazy, guys. Uh, those are the one and the two that we're looking for. Zeus is up there as well. There's a uh, Dogmatica, the Virtuous. Uh, it'd be awesome to pull her. Ice Dragon's Prison, Nadir Servant, just to name a few. And then after that, it's kind of, you're looking at a price per one of these packs is around like six bucks. So that's according to TCG players, usually where I get most of my insight on what's worth what. I find that stuff interesting. If you guys do, let me know. If you don't, let me know. A Magical Broker. We have Awakening of the Possessed. Uh... Gagio Bite. We have Curse of Dragon, the Cursed Dragon. There is the Gaia monster that I've yet to pull, and I would love to pull that. I think it's a secret in the set. Uh, Melfi Hide and Seek, Awakening of the Possessed. Uh, we have Diced Dice, a uh, Super Heavy Samurai Scarecrow. We have Lingaribo. Awesome to see that. We have Dragon Maid Chio, King Beast Barbaros. And then Nel Shadal Ariel as our Ultras uh, Virtual World Dragon Long Long, Witchcraft Unveiling, Drill Driver Vespinato, Marinus Great Bubble Reef, Melfi Fenny, and then Light Dragon at Igneister, and then Dracoon Lamp. For our first pack, we're going to go ahead and open up this pack on the far left next. I don't think we've yet to pull a designator or a cross out. So if we can pull one of those two, again, that would be absolute insanity. Uh, Melfi Hide and Seek, uh, TA High Strike, Melfi Puppy, Super Heavy Samurai, Wagon. We have Melfi of the Forest. We have Win of the Wind Chandler. Pretty cool to see that. I wish Megan was here. She, uh, she loves the Wind Charmers. Uh, we have Dark Beckoning Beast, and then we have Virtual World uh, Zishi, Zaishi, Gigi. It's a really cool looking animal with a tail wing. Uh, we have uh, Adam Ancipace, her friends, uh, Marinus Great Bubble Reef again, Red Familiar, uh, Blizzard, Rose Girl, 
And then Gaia the Magical Knight is not the Gaia card we are looking for today. Maybe it's in this last pack, man. Don't want to strike out completely. We need we need the heart of the cards to really guide us on this one. Fury of uh, Kairushin, Melfi Caddy, Squeal Knight. That is just, that is adorable. <laughs> it's a little mouse with the cheese sword. Um, I got to put that at the top. Uh, obsessive uh, Yuvo Loop, Dark Lord Nergal. Uh, Fendrin of the Wind Mischief, uh, Arc Rebellion Xyz Dragon, we have Deep Sea Aria, Sky Striker Ace Rose, we have Rishadal Wendy, and then Adam Pacer Risen Dragite, which is, if I can get the right light on it, man, that is a, that is a really cool looking card. So I can't can't be upset about that. I'll take it. I'll take it. Uh, world, uh, virtual world city, Walloon, rampaging smash tank, Rhino Saber. They just, they just combined everything into that card. We have Empress of Blossoms, rookie for hire. We have Jack, AI Love Fusion, and then Infernity Doom Arch Fiend to round out this last pack. Hope you guys enjoyed it though. Like I said, check out the. 2020 tin i'll have a link for it kind of up in this little corner here and yeah man hype for the new 2022 tins we just got the news on that so that's why i thought it'd be appropriate to kind of go back and open up these two tins uh pretty epic pretty fun and like comment subscribe you know the deal also i'll have a link for this in the description below if you guys want to pick one up too and i will talk to you guys on the next video you guys have a great day